Hey everyone, the Joyful Yogini here. Happy Friday! It's time for the weekend. So it's also time for the weekend reading. Today I pulled cards from my animal tarot deck. And, uh, sorry, my book is right here. My animal tarot deck. And uh, four cards wanted to come out with messages. So, so this reading is for the Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So 25th, 26th, 27th. The first card that I pulled is Rat Snake acceleration and movement so rat snakes they they go after what they want and they achieve it so this is a really great omen rat snake is like keep going after what you want we we we're in a new phase right now and the other cards are going to show that we're in we're in a new phase and um, you've been getting some signs or even over this weekend, you will continue to get some signs or get signs if you haven't been getting signs about how to step forward. What are those next steps? And so it's important if you do have those signs, you need to move forward into that energy. And even just taking simple steps forward will, will help you to grasp what you're going for. The next one is sea turtle perseverance to achieve. This is also a beautiful omen. When the sea turtles hatch from their eggs, they need to make, the, the babies need to make their way to the sea. And a lot of them don't make it, right? Gulls will get them, crabs will get them. But this is saying that you are going to succeed. You are going to get to the sea and you are going to achieve your dreams. So this is wonderful confirmation that you are on the right path and, um, and keep, keep moving ahead. Now the next one is Dove. I keep, because I looked at the cards before I started sharing them, I keep wanting to share what's coming next. <laughs> so I keep up, hold it back, hold it back. Okay, so this next, um, the dove, the key message here is moving between cycles and worlds. This is the card to give you the message that you are in a new cycle and you have a new rhythm and that's coming into the next card too. And dove is also uh, dove can be a message about love, uh, but truly about feminine energy. So the more you step into that feminine energy, we all have a feminine, feminine and masculine, a goddess or a god side. So this is stepping into our goddess or feminine side. So being open to receive. So as opposed to, you know, even before COVID, we were in a place of, Go, 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 like keep on going. You gotta go faster. You don't deserve a break. And we need stress and anxiety to keep powering us forward. But that doesn't work anymore. So we need to be within our feminine, which is taking time to rest, to, uh, to nurture ourselves, and, and then being quiet being quiet so we can receive our messages, the messages, the ideas and inspiration. And that part is really important right now. But the key message for this right now is that you are in a new cycle and trust that you can't keep doing things the way you used to do them. So make sure that you're stepping into that feminine and giving yourself the self care that you need. Now, you know how I was saying about new rhythm. So this is the final card and it's the woodpecker. Now, I'm showing it to you upside down, aren't I? But it came out upside down. So, because it came upside down, now first of all, the key message is uh, unique new rhythms of success. When it's upside down, it can be an indication that you're, you might be moving forward from an emotional state as opposed to a logical or analytical state. Now, some of us work very well in connecting with how we feel to be able to move forward, but it's also making sure that you're not in a place of disrupted um, feelings. So how do I word that better? That you're not in a place of feeling sad or angry or guilty, 
um, any of the heavier vibrational emotions. We need to have those emotions, but we should not be making our our decisions, our plans. We shouldn't be moving forward because we're in an emotional state, right? We need to be in a place of groundedness. We need to be within our power. So it's just to watch that. Now, the 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 rhythm of the woodpecker, it it you know that tap tap tap, and you can hear it vibrating through the woods. You can hear that from such a distance. I love hearing the woodpecker. And when they, they have those strong beaks and a really strong head, like extra strong skull uh, structure to be able to handle that beating. So you have the strength and you have the ability to get to those juicy insects and that beautiful sap within that tree. You are doing that. You will continue to move forward to do that providing you follow your own rhythms. So listen to your body and then sometimes it's not an appropriate time to make a decision. If you're in a place of, I don't know what I should do, I don't know how I should move forward, then you should not be moving forward at that time. Don't force yourself to make a decision when you're in that space. So you can think about all this throughout the weekend, sit with it, but really good messages here. You are going to achieve whatever successes you're wanting to have in your life. You will achieve that. You're going to go after it and you're going to grab it. And just making sure that you're listening to your rhythms, you're in your feminine, you're open to receive, and uh, you're all good. So from my light to yours, everyone. Namaste. And throughout the month of April, I got free yoga classes you can sign up for. So try them out. You can go onto my website, thejoyfulyoginis.ca, and I do have the schedule of free classes on there, plus the schedule of the classes that are starting in May. And if there's more of a demand than what I have uh, currently um, available, then hey, I'll, I'll add more classes. So don't worry about that. <laughs> okay, so have a wonderful weekend and we'll see you soon. Bye.